Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn an image into a vector file using Inkscape to make it easier for you to upload into Design Space. Inkscape is a free software and I'll link it in the description down below. Let's get to it. Go to Google, search for any image that you want. It works better when you search for coloring pages. When you get to your images, select tools and size either large or medium. That way your outline is more defined. Select your image, view image, right click, save as, name your image, and save. I've already had it saved, so. Now we're gonna open Inkscape. Now that we have Inkscape open, you're going to want to go to File, Open, select your image, and press Open. When this comes up, you're going to want to make sure you select Link and press OK. There's going to be a border around your image, and we're going to get rid of that because everything that is outside of that border it's not going to save. So to delete that, we're going to select File, Document Properties, go down to Border, deselect Show Page Border, and close that. Now to turn our image into an SVG, you're going to select your image, go to Path, Trace bitmap. You're going to select live preview. So we're going to play with brightness cutoff since our image is only black and white. If your image was a rainbow and you wanted to do different layers for every color, you would select colors and then the number of scans, it's the number of layers you want it to be. But for now, we're just gonna play with brightness cutoff. When you play with this, if you go up, your image is going to get darker. If you go down, it's going to get lighter. You wanna get it to a point where all your lines are visible and connected. I think that looks right. And if your image ha has a lot of dots that you want to get rid of, you can go to options, select suppress speckles, and play with that number. If you do a number that's way too high, it might delete things like your nose or your eyes that are small dots. So you're going to want to play around with that number until you're satisfied with your image. We're going to go back to mode and select OK. Your new image is going to be in front. Slide it over and this is your original. Now you can go ahead and close this prop. We're going to zoom in. I don't like these speckles on the tail or this line up here. Instead of two lines, it's one. It, the two lines are connected. So we're going to zoom in. Grab the eraser and erase the middle part. If you don't like the way it looks, you can undo. There's the width of the eraser. You can minimize it to make it smaller. 
and just erase the parts you don't like like that. Now I'm gonna go to the tail and delete these. These are just these are just parts that my cricket is not going to cut correct. Now we're going to zoom out. I'm happy with my picture and I can delete my original. Now to save this as an SVG, we're going to go to file. Save as you want to make sure you save this as a plain SVG. Name your file and select save. All right guys, that was it. Super easy. Please like, share and subscribe. Leave me some comments below if you liked it or hated it or want me to do more tutorials. Let me know. Thanks.